Mr. Foreman, that funny little grill deal you signed is starting to generate some substantial checks. Really? Now I'm just surprised it shows a big old fat guy like me to sell a deal to help people get lean. <laughs> We'll say it like this. George Foreman opened the door. He opened the door when it comes to athletes endorsing products. You know, a lot of you probably listening to me know, have heard about the George Foreman grill. All right. So here's what I learned on day one. Here's what I learned on day one. All right. And I could not believe me being not only being a, a big sports guy, but being heavily involved as a boxing trainer. And when you look at makeyourmove.com, you kind of get the feeling that I used to box or that I'm a boxer and stuff like that. I couldn't believe I didn't know this, but this is why you go to conferences, right? So Dre tells me that, you know, the Foreman Grill was just sitting on department stores, sitting in department stores, not selling a motherfucker. They like not moving at all. And the minute that George Foreman put his name behind that grill, all of a sudden it started taking off. It started taking off. And you know, that that is that is something that I want you guys to take into consideration every single day, every single day, all right? There may be absolutely nothing wrong with your product, all right? And you go on and you decide to go try something else, you give up on this, you give up on that, when all that product may need is simply positioning and positioning it in a certain way, and then you'll start to see the sales come in. So don't give up, I mean, if you, if you, <clears throat> If you learn anything from that story, from that example, when it comes to George Foreman and how all it took was his name being on a grill, you know, a famous athlete endorsing a grill, a boxer at that endorsing a grill. If, if you take anything from that, make sure you understand that it's all about who you associate your brand with, who you associate your products with and who you have using your products and who who are your associations. When you think like that, now you can take advantage of the collaboration era that we're in. And another thing, another gem that I picked up from Jay is that this collaboration era, this collaboration era that we're in is never gonna end. So again, you better figure out how to collaborate. And you're, you're listening to the, you're listening to Mr. Mr. Teamwork. You're one and only Moose for giving you a perspective on teamwork. You listen to the teamwork guy. So if you want ways and you want to, if you want to figure out ways and innovative ways to collaborate with other people and collaborate with other businesses, you're listening to the right person. Just go to makeyourmove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. It is a one-stop shop for all your teamwork and personal development needs. You can listen to my podcast on that same website. You can go shop till you drop and just look at everything.